Feeling poorly, I went to bed early Saturday night and slept straight through until Sunday morning. When I woke up, I knew right away, a difference was dawning. It was my eyes you see. They weren't watery and crusted shut, like they usually were. I could clearly see the clock on the wall, some ten feet away, without a blur. Not having to blink a dozen times and wipe away the green, glue-like gel, that normally clouds my vision, I could plainly tell, that it was 8.15. With not one single pain, I put my feet on the floor, and sprang up from the mattress, quicker than a jack-in-the-box. The numbness and soreness of the soles of my feet, was gone and for once, I didn't feel as if I were walking on hot rocks. And what a joy it was to sniff the air. My poor nose, which is always at least half blocked, was clear. Two nostrils had I, a perfect pair. I was not a mouth breather, for the first time in many a year. With the stitch in my side, the limp in my stride, both gone away like the tide, I walked briskly to the bathroom. For the first time in recent memory, I did not feel that I was just a step from my grave. To the bath I went, not to sit and groan, but to shave. And what a process that had become, more like a barroom brawl, what with the blood and all. The wrinkled papery skin of my face so tender, with just a look at the razor, did quickly surrender. With every scrape to the head, the blade would turn red, as I bled. But, not on this special Sunday, when things were different, in every way. I slung the blade like this and that, and mowed down every whisker, as if I had a magic hat. As I walked briskly back to my bedroom, whistling a song from the days when I was a bridegroom, I was shocked by a very strange sight. While I was shaving, and getting ready for a new life, something took to my bed, and it was not my late wife. There was a body there, and it had spent the night. I crept up close and discovered to my shock, that the lifeless, wrinkled old form, was me. But I'm standing up tall and looking at it, so how can it be? In a moment, the understanding, came to me, and I smiled, because now, I am free.